Mitch Tweedy here, Compass Drone, showing you how to set up a uh, static survey style in Trimble Access. This is a GeoXR, uh, but it's going to look very similar on different Trimble devices. So to start out, you want to get to the main menu, and that's by clicking the globe, going to Trimble Access. Now you want to go into Settings, and then Survey Styles. And you may already have one called Static or Fast Static, but let's pretend we didn't. We'll say new, uh, name it whatever you like, something like static or something. We'll go ST. And GNSS is the type on different devices. You'll have different options, but you want to select GNSS and we'll say accept. And we just need a rover for this, so we only need to edit the rover options. Uh, the survey type will be fast static. Logging interval uh, depends on what you're doing. If you're setting this up as a base for a PPK mission, you definitely want one second. If you're shooting ground control, five seconds is fine, but we'll do one second. Auto file name is fine. Elevation mask, PDOP, that's fine. Antenna type, that depends on what you got. R8, R10. That's device specific, measure to bottom of antenna mount or bottom of quick release. And most range poles are two meters. Uh, you don't need to input a serial number, but go ahead and record L2C and GLONASS. So we'll say accept. We can go in the fast static point settings. Um, ideally 45 minutes to an hour is good for a fast static point. So, um, 45 if we only have four satellites, 45 if we have five, <laughs> an eight minute point isn't very useful. So you can set those all to 45 and we'll... Auto store point. So if you're just shooting ground control 45 minutes, go ahead and auto store to the point. But if you're setting this up as a base for a LiDAR survey, you don't want it to auto store the point because you want it to run all day long. But for ground control points, go ahead and auto store. We'll say accept. And we don't need to worry about the rangefinder. So we'll say store. I'm sitting at my desk, but we'll go ahead and survey one of these fast static points we'll say general survey you do want to create a new job each time uh, this will create a to2 file and if you create a new job with each point it'll separate out the to2 files for you so make sure you go into jobs create a new job with each point once that's done you can measure ours was called st say measure points and it doesn't need to connect to a base or a radio. Just give this point a name. Number one, verify your antenna height and measure to bottom antenna mount or bottom of quick release. Make sure that's accurate. And here again, you can edit those options, but 45 minutes is optimal. So we'll go ahead and accept. Say measure. And I lost all my satellites, so it's it's obviously not going to measure, but if you have satellite reception, it'll start counting down from 45 minutes, so you can go do something else, come back 45 minutes later. Um, if you have auto store selected, it would auto store that point. Uh, if you don't, it'll, it'll continue logging more than 45 minutes, which more data is usually good. But auto store would save that point and be ready for the next one so either way you want to go but that's it um, make sure your tripod's level and steady and would be able to sit there for 45 minutes without moving in the wind good luck